What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the handful of new features that got added on watchOS 11. So the compatibility list is listed right there. Feel free to pause the video. Basically, if you have an Apple Watch Series 6 or newer, you're good. This also includes the second generation Apple Watch SE. And the official release should be released sometime during September, usually alongside the next generation of iPhones. Is when we're expected to see the official release, not just watchOS 11, but also iOS 18. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So here it is. We installed the public beta on our Apple Watch Ultra 2 paired to an iPhone 15 running the public beta of iOS 18. So the first thing first that I want to go ahead and cover is the new way to operate your Apple Watch. You see by rotating the digital crown up, this will bring up your smart stacks. And then by rotating the digital crown down, this will quickly bring down your notifications. You may still operate your Apple Watch like we previously were able to by long holding for bring out notifications and simply swiping down and up will bring up our smart stacks. But these new smart stacks, they support live activities. You see on my main iPhone, we go ahead and launch like a YouTube video as an example and we play Markiplier's video. Notice how it immediately start our smart stack to our media. That is gonna be default because as soon as you cover your Apple Watch, it will always show that unless you turn off the media that you're listening to and you cover it up it'll go back to the default wallpaper now i know some people may not like this but it's good to know that you could always go in your apple watch settings and then scroll into the smart stack section and where it says live activities you could always disable it or customize it so only some apps have that ability i like using this a lot with my workout but just a quick heads up about that smart stack will actually take over your main watch face Additionally, if you have an Apple Watch Ultra first or second generation, by long holding the action button, this will allow you to quickly change the action for that action button on the go without having to go on your iPhone setting. So you can start a stopwatch, waypoint, backtrack, or even if you go all the way down, you'll see a new Shazam music recognition. So by pressing here, Shazam will immediately start searching for whatever song is playing because Shazam is now one of the new native apps that was added. But if you want to, you can always go in and actually physically go in here and swipe to delete it. Oops, messed that up. There we go. So if you don't like Shazam, you can always remove it. Another new app that was added is the translation app, where it's slightly redesigned and it's easier to use than ever before. You can do it by versa by switching the swap arrow. So in English, you can actually have it translate in Spanish. How's the weather outside? and then play it in Spanish. ¿Qué tiempo hace afuera? It works extremely well. You can bookmark some of your favorite, most used language as well. And you can also adjust the speed, the auto translate, voice preference, and the language you like to download. And it supports a lot, as you can see, for a free to use software. And then since we are using an Apple Watch Ultra, as I showed you earlier, if you do switch to a watch face that has, that supports night mode, so like this one as an example, Mondular Ultra. When night mode is enabled, if you go into the smart stack, it will also continue having that night mode theme as well. And if you may have noticed earlier, Mondular Ultra does support the new training. Let me go ahead and reverse back to normal so it's easier to see. So the bezels, as you see right here, we do have the new training load bezel. So you have elevation, depth, and seconds or none. So training is actually one of the new bezels that got added for the modular ultra now the apple watch ultra 2 as well as the apple watch series 9 both support double tap where now instead of dismissing alarms dismissing phone calls the double tap gesture can easily be used to scroll down so if we tap on an app that has multiple pages like the activity app we could actually use it to scroll by simply doing the double tap gesture so now you could use it for answering phone calls completing timers, and just hands-free scrolling with your Apple Watch Ultra. Although there's no way to go up though. And then Apple Tap to Cash is also fully compatible on the Apple Watch. Because if you're trying to complete a transaction with a different stranger and you don't want to transfer contact information, so long as they have an iPhone or an Apple Watch, you guys could both tap and it will automatically complete money transactions without actually having to have their contact information for you to Apple Cash them. And then if you ever receive a new notification, you notice that the notification icon is also different now than previously. The animation just got revamped a little. 
Now in terms of watch faces, unfortunately, as time in this video, Apple did remove quite a few as the Siri watch face is no longer located here, as well as Chronograph, Nor Explore, and Numero watch face is also gone now, unfortunately. Not sure if Apple's gonna re-add these later on because this is a beta profile. So there's a high chance it could be re-added. But the new watch face that we did receive can be located all the way on top, and that's just the new updated photos right above here. Because we always had this Pride one, as well as this Union Bloom, and that's it. And for photos, it doesn't allow you to add it here, but I found out if you like to add the new photo watch face, you need to go into the photo app on your Apple Watch, and then launch it. And then this will automatically pick the most photogenic photo for you, where you can just tap on one, hit the up arrow icon, and scroll all the way down till you see create watch face. And here you have the two th styles to choose from. We're just gonna do photos for the new one. And here's that new watch face animation. And if you notice the smart stack font of the time and date will, will react to the font style that we have our watch face. So this also includes like the watch faces with the hands. If we go back to our smart stack, oops, didn't mean to do that. It'll give us this style of watch face. But if we go to something with a digital watch face, it'll give us this style. Just unfortunately, we are unable to customize this. It's all stuck with the font style that you have that displays your clock. And then if you have old watch faces with the photo, don't worry, they're all grandfathered in. So you're not gonna lose anything. Although there is a new upgrade section on the bottom. But if we go onto our iPhone, and we launch the Apple Watch app and go to photos and select photo library and choose the photo. Again, it will automatically pick whatever photo is the most photogenic. Select the one, let it buffer. And here you can see the new style watch faces for the photo watch face right here on your screen. The one on the side is the new one. And yes, you can change not just the font, but the color of the time if you want to adjust it to something different as you see right here, and then you could just tap add. And now in a couple of seconds, it should be updated. There we go. And then also the smart stacks continue to have that color theme as well. So the smart stack, some of these widgets were updated. The most noticeable ones that's worth talking about is the podcast app as well as the music. So if we long hold and then add the podcast app, you'll see this is how the new layout looks like. And the music will also share the same very similar layouts. Most of the native ones from Apple received new updates in terms of their widgets. SmartSack also supports check-in. If you start a check-in with somebody, your smart widgets will be active. And once you arrive to your destination, you can just tap check-in. And third-party apps will soon have the ability to also take advantage of the SmartStack activity. And then another new app that received a silent update was the Clock app for like your timers. Because if we launch the timer app, now it's black. In addition to that, if you go all the way down, there's a lot more customizations and timers you could add as you could easily add to your own personal preference. Like any, cu any custom timer now, it's no longer just fixed to the ones that was only available. And when you start a timer, this is also slightly designed, redesigned as well because previously it was just a bunch of dots. Now it's one solid line. And then when it comes to customization, we now have new ringtones, custom ringtones now for the Apple Watch, which we located in the settings. By going in here and scrolling down to sound, sound and haptics, you can change the ringtone, text tone, the new mail sound, calendar alerts, reminder alert, or default alerts. And the library is pretty big, as this one was the default one. But now we have focus, jungle, nighthawk, whatever that is, swirl, wind up and wonder it's just unfortunately we are unable to upload our own custom ones or create custom epic feedback tones like our iphone maybe the next watch os 12 version will have that ability but at least we can now customize it especially if you live in a household with a bunch of other app watch users and then if you're somebody who uses sleep tracking sleep tracking will now have the ability finally to automatically track power naps so if you take a power nap and you're tracking your sleep this will now finally be able to track that and speaking of sleep tracking when you enable bedtime mode like this icon remember how previously 
In order to have access to your Apple Watch, you have to long hold the digital crown. Well, now you can just simply tap once and it will grant you access to your Apple Watch without having a long hold. And if you go on Control Center, if you notice, you still are in bed mode. So now you can bypass that without having to long hold this, especially if it's something quick you just have to do. And then in addition to that, if you like to bypass everything quickly, you can also hold the digital crown and power button at the same time. It will bring down the timer even faster. Same goes for the water lock. If you hold both at the same time, it will quickly just unlock it quicker than having an actually long hold. At least from my experience, it feels like it's quicker. Now HomeKit also has been improved for the Apple Watch. Now whenever you approach like a smart lock, instead of quickly activating your wallets, your Apple Watch using GPS and other internal sensors, as soon as you're walking towards the door, will automatically wirelessly just unlock it for you. And then in terms of the weather app, the weather app was slightly tweaked. As you can still tap to change between the different styles that you like. And if you long hold, you can also switch between different data. But nothing much, pretty much still the same. Then offline maps is now fully supported on the Apple Watch. Now if you go into your map app on your iPhone, and then quickly just tap on your profile. And then in your profile, you tap on offline maps. Whatever offload maps you created on your iPhone, you can enable it right here, will automatically sync to your Apple Watch and will start downloading as soon as your Apple Watch is connected to power. So while you're charging it, it will offload it on the Apple Watch now natively so you don't have to have your iPhone nearby if you're off the grid and all you have is your Apple Watch. And then still in this tab, if you tap on library, if you go to routes, you could create custom routes right here. And if you notice, it does give you topograph information just like the iPhone. But by simply tapping on a route, like on a road or something like that, you can leave little markers right here and you could tap again. And it'll connect those two markers. And here you'll have options to reverse, out and back, or loop. And it'll give you data information like the altitude and stuff. And you can save it right here. You could download it and so long offload map enable on the Apple Watch, this route will also be saved on the Apple Watch on your behalf. Now, as for the fitness side of things, the fitness app was also updated massively on both iPhones and the Apple Watch. But first thing first, I'd like to show you it on the Apple Watch first. By launching the activity app, if you tap this little up right corner over here, this is your training load. And this is based off seven days. The little dots are your seven days. And the white line on top, the graph on above that, is your 28 days average. And right now, it does look like I'm falling below because I was super busy this last week, thanks to 4th of July. But I'll show you how to set this up later. But what I like to show you is if you go all the way down, there's now a new quick access to edit your calorie goals. You could edit it for the day or change your whole entire schedule right here. And if you notice, you could adjust it from Monday all the way down to Sunday. So if the weekends are your rest days, you could lower your calories just from here. And if you get sick, of course, you could change it only for the day and just lower it to the lowest number possible and set it. But if you go on your iPhone and you go ahead and launch the fitness app, new splash screen, but if we hit continue, and go into your fitness. And if you go all the way down to the very bottom where it says change goals, same thing what I showed you recently on the Apple Watch, but you can also pause your rings. So you can pause it for today, until Monday, until August, or create a custom date. This is good to know in case you get sick. This way your sprees are still gonna continue once you recover. So now you can actually pause your workout, your sprees, so you don't mess up your sprees in case you get sick. And then as for the workout app, the workout app did get updated. As some of these icons had changed, like the indoor run, now that's how it looks like. Oop, let me get out of this. Indoor run has a new icon, and they also added new workouts as well. But if we select like a workout, like strength training as an example, it also has a suggestion right there to start a check-in when working out. So if we start a workout, let the three-second timer go, and we go to the very bottom, we could then check in with somebody. And where it shows your profile, if you tap on that profile picture, you could change between a different person that you like to check in with and then just hit send. And once you're done with your workout, you could then end it just like that and check in with them when the workout ends. So once I'm done with my workout, as you see, the smart stack actually went up as well, showing us that we are actively checking in with somebody. So as soon as our workout is over, our Apple Watch will automatically check in with them. Also, another thing, Let's start a workout, but this time, give me a minute so we have access to the other menu. And then if we end our workout right here, we have the little rating chart. 
where by default it could suggest like automatically like based off your previous records it'll automatically like select like six as an example but you could always override it to adjust it to like all out hard or easy and then just tap enter if you made a mistake you're always able to go back on your iphone and look at the recent workout and by clicking on it you can always go ahead and re-edit the effort on the iphone and then these check-ins or ratings that you do also these will impact the new vital app if you keep going all the way down look for the vital you will see it right here which the backside actually does resemble like the old school first generations apple watch heart rate sensors but by clicking on here this will keep track of your sleeping session and will monitor your overall health and will notify you if there if it knows like an unusual pattern in terms of like energy level and such it's really interesting then as an added bonus the apple watch does have night shift it had it since watch os 9 just now people recently been discovering it so if you long hold the digital crown and say turn on night shift okay night shift is now on now we have night shift enable on our apple watch and there you guys have it those are all the incredible features and new changes that got added on watch os 11. for more information about ios 18 highly recommend checking out that video over there where i go through in detail all the new customization abilities including new app icons as well as new control center functions highly recommend checking out that video over there thank you so much for watching